Can I, can I do a, a few more than a couple of words? You can take okay. As long as <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, I won't take too long. I feel like it's a wedding that has a lot of speeches. Um, uh, just shortly ish, um, it's an incredible honor to join Ciclavia as a representative of the Alternative Travel Project, or ATP. And whether everyone is aware of it or not, you're all ATPing today. Um, basically what that is, it's a global initiative aimed at encouraging people to escape the bubble of your cars and go car free for just one day. So here we are. Los Angeles is exciting to me on that front because it's a city full of incredible potential. It's youthful and it has an intensely creative energy that's part of the fabric of this city. It's what sets LA up for a coveted position as one of the world's leading lifestyle examples. We've got sunny days, for the most part. <laughs> um, we've got the mystique of Hollywood and all that that entails. Um, we've got access to the ocean and, and so on. So basically, we enjoy the benefits of being a focal point for the international stage of media, arts, entertainment. But we also hold a responsibility, specifically because we are center stage on that front. Um, there's a really great quote that I enjoy, and I'm sure a lot of you here are familiar with it. It's a Greek proverb. It says, a society grows great when old men plant trees whose shade they know they shall never sit in. So participating in today's event with Ciclavia means that we're investi investing in the reverberating effects of a future that we may never know. So I thank you for joining the Alternative Travel Project and specifically Ciclavia in our efforts to ensure that that future is a positive, enduring one. Thank you.